Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. A few days ago, I posted my unboxing of the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and a lot of you asked in the comment section how I managed to install Google Play services in the said device. Well, today you're about to find out, so let's get started. As you may be aware, Google Play services won't be available on Huawei Mate 30 series once they put it out in the market. Now, thanks to the creative people at xdadevelopers.com and also those who received an early review unit because they were able to try out this new method that we also tried on our Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Now, this is how it works. Now, the first thing you need to do is to enable download apps from external sources. And to be able to do that, you just have to go to settings, security, and uh, more settings. And you will see how you would be able to enable download apps from external server. The second thing you need to do is to basically go to this site. The link is now actually in the description down below. Now remember, when you do this, you're basically risking your smartphone from any third-party intrusion. Note that we are not in any way responsible if something bad happens to your phone. I just want to put that out just to let you know, guys. Now, basically, the process is that this particular application downloads and installs Google Play services on your smartphone. So you should be done in 5 to 10 minutes, depending on how fast your internet connection is. Now, after this, your Mate 30 Pro should already have everything for you to be able to start your Google Play services like Google Play, Google Chrome, and everything that you need. And you can basically download everything now from Google Play Store. But I highly recommend that you do a restart. And restarting your Mate 30 Pro will basically refresh everything. Now, while you're at it, here are five of the best applications I'd like you to try out when you install Google Play Store on your Huawei Mate 30 Pro. The first thing on the list is of course Spark. Spark is one way for you to be able to connect with friends via email. It's very easy to set up. You can also set your signatures if you want to. And if you're really into emailing friends, emailing your coworkers or some of the people you connect with, this is a good alternative to Gmail. Now this second application is perfect if you're based in the Philippines. This is PayMaya. Now, PayMaya is the first prepaid online payment app in the Philippines. It allows fast, secure, and hassle-free payments. I just paid my Meralco bill using that app, and it even gave me a cashback, so that's, that's pretty nice. Now, another application, well, basically it's not an app, but it's a game, it's called Downwell. Now, Downwell is a 2D platformer roguelike action game. It's a curious game about a young boy venturing down a well in search of untold treasures with only his gun boots to protect him. I like it. I love it so much. I played it on my Steam uh, PC, rather. I played it on my Nintendo Switch. And hey, it's a perfect match on my Huawei Mate 30 Pro. If you're moving now to Android or you still carry around an Apple iPhone with you, then you might probably know about Passes. Now, Passes basically has everything like your Starbucks, your uh, ticket to your next destination. Now with wallet passes, you can use passes on your Android phone to check in for flights, get in the deal rewards, get in movies, and a lot more. And if you're coming from an Apple ecosystem, or as I mentioned, if you still carry on an Apple iPhone with you, this is one way or perfect way for you to be able to easily transition to Android. Last but not the least is something that we use every day whenever we do our reviews on our smartphone is GameBench. GameBench provides a suite of award-winning enterprise-grade tools to mobile QA teams around the world. It's also something we use on our reviews. We're able to see how the phone is performing or how it is able to keep up with the demands of the mobile game that we're currently playing. So if ever you see uh, graphs and uh, data in our reviews, we were able to do that, or we were able to do that because of GameBench. So that's pretty much everything that we covered for today. We're able to tell you about how we managed to install Google Play services on our Huawei Mate 30 Pro. And hey, you got bonus, five of the apps that we're currently using on our device. Again, if you're new to the channel, I would recommend that you click that subscribe button and notification bell. And if you're watching this on Facebook, click that follow and like button. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video.